What was that for? What was that for? Um... You see? What was that for? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Outer Wilds encountered an error and must close. Yay. <laughs> oh, no. Today, the stream is very scuffed. Like, I forget to, to change the name of things. Oh, I did it again. Oops. I did it. I don't know why I'm singing Britney Spears. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh. Hey, there we go. All right. And I can. Ultra Wilds. There we go. But yeah, welcome back to Outer Wilds. Game I am continually excited to play. And it just... I have to be honest though. I, I'm someone that likes to find the most practical and easy route through things. And... This game is kind of getting on my nerves a little bit in the sense that I want to get find a shortcut to the end. But clearly there's no shortcut to the end. I must do it the right way. <laughs> so I shall. So I shall do it the right way. Ooh. Oh yeah, I did make it to the sun station. And I built something called a sun station. Not everyone supported construction. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get to the sun station. So we shall try again. I tried landing on the sun station, but that honestly did not go very well. Because it moves way too fast. I tried doing a... Uh... So we need to go to the Ash Planet. Okay. Since I actually have to wait... Oh, BB just pooped in the tub. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, your your mom might not be a very good babysitter. <laughs> I kid, I kid. But... <laughs> Sorry you have to deal with that. Oh, <laughs> uh, quantum, quantum moon. To warp here. Okay. So there's a connection to that, to the moon. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, city, Black Hole Forge. What is the stuff about the Ember Twin? Southern Observatory. Frozen No My Shuttle. Gravity Cannon. Oh, I guess I could check out the Gravity Cannon. Could definitely do that while I wait for the. The planet too. Okay. Oh wow, I was pressing the down button again. Okay. Okay, so we need to find the gravity cannon. But the one that's kind of... This one. This is exactly the one I want. Ooh, ooh, I haven't played this in a while. I have have not played this in a while. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait. 
I don't have my... Got to put my spacesuit on. That is a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. Huh. Oh! Quantum moon. You know what? I'm gonna put my suit first. <laughs> since, especially since I can use it while I'm doing other things. Since I can wear it. Okay. Ember Twin, let's go. Yeah, I don't have anything on Ember Twin? Yeah, Ember Twin. Gravity Cannon. I recall the- no, okay, so... Quantum Signal. Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere in the Hourglass Twins. Okay. Escape Pod 2. One of the three Nomai pods crashed in our solar system. Three escaped and launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. High Energy Lab. Ash Twin Tower Designs, Sunless City. There's more to explore there, for sure. Chert's Camp. Chert has spotted an unusually high number of supernovas recently. Anglerfish Fossil. Okay. Maybe I should use more of my time to explore. That stuff. Um, our autopilot is a little bit off. Okay, there we go. Okay, we need to get around. Ooh, I see exactly where I want to launch. There we go. We're okay. And I'm wearing a suit this time, <laughs> so I'm not gonna die. Alright. Okay, so... I did read this. It was currently resting at Comet. Call Shuttle home. And activate Gravity Cannon. What happens if I activate the Gravity Cannon? thinking. Hi, son. Uh, hi, Bob. How are you doing? And I'm glad you were able to bleach the tub. I'm sorry that ba BB did that. BB. Not being good. That really doesn't sound like a fun time, and I'm sorry that happened. And how are- I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing well. Happy Friday. Not fries day. That was gross. <laughs> babies do that. Yeah, they do. Can't complain about babies doing the thing. But, uh, I just did a stupid in the game, so... And we also don't need to talk about it. AKA, I didn't do a stupid in the game, just... It's fine. Oh, oh, Erica, oh. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
sand planet. Gonna get in my way. By the way, I updated I updated the BTTV emotes on the channel. So you guys can have things that are maybe more of your to your liking. I saw what people were trying to type, and I have complied with the appropriate emotes. Hopefully it is to all of you. You're like it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, you know what? I'm fine. I don't have my suit on. Okay, I've died to the dumbest things tonight. <laughs> I really don't want to keep that going as a trend. My two deaths were... Leaving the ship, without a suit, and then turning on this gravity cannon, jumping on it, and then being thrown into the sun. What did I expect would happen? <laughs> Moon man! I don't think I'm allowed to add Moon man. I'd love to. Okay, okay. There we go, I brought the ship back. Sunless City. Oh yeah, I can access the Sunless City from here. But nope. No, I can't. I lied. Um... I feel like there sh should be more stuff here. If sounds like there's more stuff here, the... The map keeps telling me, they're like, Oh, you didn't find everything here. Yeah, no, I, I wish I could put Moon Man, but... Okay, so we've actually done a lot in here. We've read all of this. But it's saying that we haven't checked everything. Which... What? Okay, it's still reading that. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. I have to get on my laptop. I know those. I wonder if maybe I can fly this thing. Check that out. What? What was that? Oh, it sent me back. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I almost threw myself at the sun again. Okay. Actually, that might. Ooh. Ooh. What was that do? What's that? Uh-oh, we're falling, we're falling. That's really disorienting. <laughs> so it doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Uh, signal scope. Quantum fluctuation. No, I don't want to read the thing. I want to check for quantum fluctuation. Stress beacons. Oh. I actually have all pods located now. Oh, I never got that one. Anyway, the point is, I'm on the ship. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing for me to see here. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> almost went into this and wouldn't be the first time tonight. Sadly, it wouldn't be the first time tonight. Ow. Okay, so I could launch this ship. I could launch it at the sun. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna let it hit the sun. Give it three, give it three. Call it back. Seems to be fine. Despite, oh, 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 launch it now, launch it now. Let me check it. it. Seems to be completely fine. Like, still has ice on it, which means it didn't really account for people trying to throw the ship into the sun. <laughs> which is fine, but... I guess... Alright. This should have been enough time for the sun to... Not the sun, but... Here we go. For the Ash Twin to have lost enough of its math. Math. Mass. For some reason, I'm having trouble with the THs. <laughs> having some trouble with the THs tonight. I think my brain is just slightly off. Here we go. So, that is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. I don't want to be hit by the pillar. Ow, ow, ow. I don't know what I'm doing. Send me forward, please. Send me into this planet, please. Yes, um... Okay, okay. There is the one I want. There is the one I want. Can I land? Uh-oh. No, we're fine. Nope. It's not gonna do. Where is the other twin? Okay, I think I have time. I think I have time. I look behind me and that's the side I should have been looking at. Okay. Okay. So here we are. Yeah, it might actually be a good idea for me to launch the scout. Oh, this is very disoriented. That's the ceiling, that's the floor. Okay. Okay, so that's where I want to get to. Take me to the sun! Wait, what's this? Oh! Look at that! I opened the door. Alright. Take me to the sun. Here we go, here we go. This is it. I almost went into the sun before. To the sun! We did it. Did it. Yeah. No, I just got on the sun right now. Messages. 
281 281042 years ago. No user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. 10 minutes, 48 seconds. Increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Uh oh. Open, open emergency doors. Oh boy. Okay. Match velocity, match velocity. Match velocity. Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay. Okay, we gotta get information here as quickly as possible. There's a bunch of helmets. There's a bunch of helmets. We need to move quickly. Mi Pi. Mission. Science compels us to explore, explode the sun. What? Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun goes, Idea. So you can actually go- Yeah! That's what I've been trying to do for a long time. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to divide- To decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Okay, okay, okay. I learned a little bit. I guess the sun burned me. <laughs> you know, the motto of any Twitch stream go again. We go again and try to do the same thing. Some call it madness. I call it. Hmm. Okay. So. <laughs> the sun do be hot. Spoken like a true sonologist. I'm actually going here. What I'm gonna do is wait. You know what? Never mind. I'm not waiting. I'm not a baby. Only a baby waits. Oh, that's too fast. That's too fast. Okay, 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 okay. So what I'm actually gonna do, which won't make me a baby, apparently, is go into the city to the sunless city, which is over here. I'm gonna try that. No, I can't. Okay, okay. Boom. They called me crazy. I think I might be. Okay, here we go. Yeah. All right. We should be so early down here that it really shouldn't matter at all. Anything. All right. I'm going to get into the sunless city from below again. But yeah, it should be so early on that it should just work. There's already sand falling here, which is great. We go to the left. Thankfully, I still remember how to do this. Over here and up. And over 
over here. Because there was quite a few... There were quite a few things that I still had to do in the Sun the City that I didn't even start thinking about. Alright. Are you doing well? Okay. Yeah, I just need to jump. There we go. Here we go. It's on the city. You know what? I should probably close it. Because if the sand fills, at least the city will be fine. Oh. Interesting. Oh, that's where the lights are. I should turn on all the lights. Who turned on the lights? That's a reference. Alright. So... We will be it. Should we build a sun station to power the Ash Twin project? I almost can't comprehend this. Can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to everything we believe in as a species. Unsurprisingly, Idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. Okay, so what was this branch? Are there any other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. Rainy. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project so the... Oh, see, I didn't know that. I didn't know that the Sun one was meant to power the Ash Twin. If we fail and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves and all life here and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect the species. Oh, is that why the sun goes supernova? Because of the sun station? So if I stop it, maybe I can play for longer? <gasps> okay. The potential annihilation of, of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build a sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Poke, I am deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Yeah, too many things got built. Babies don't wait. What, what, what? Don't make baby wait. <laughs> I turned on the lights. That was a, a reference from Doctor Who, like old Doctor Who. After the, not the most recent Doctor, but the second. There is me. Okay. Okay. There's ghost matter on the floor, but not the ceiling. Interesting, there's so much to learn here. Here's sand. That's not good. Like, I, I have barely explored this. Watch out for ghost matter. Like, wrong- Hey! Boop! Okay, so there isn't any here. That's one thing I just learned. Like, right now. Is that 
You can actually traverse the space with the crystals as long as you don't touch the colorful area. I didn't know that till this very moment. <laughs> I thought, oh, I see crystals? Bad. Okay, what was the point of that? Is this a new area? Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the stars. This star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Okay, this seems very ethereal. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already Like, these are people going crazy, turning it into a cult. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal? Or did we hear the signal by coincidence? I just realized my camera position is technically wrong. That's more of how I usually like it. There we go. Man, what happened to him? Anyway. We, we could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. The eye is natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. How is this the largest swirl and it's just saying that? <laughs> I'm always questioning the things that don't really need to be questioned. Um, the eye is older than a universe. Could something exist before its creator? It could be naturally occurring, though it, this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. Oh, cultists! <laughs> okay, and this is an exit, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. Okay. That was one house. Okay. We will continue to learn. Oh, hello there. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Guess I'm feeling kind of weird. There we go. Guess we'll... I'll try to explore. There's a lot of helmets everywhere. Solanum. I don't remember this guy. I don't know why everyone hears... Everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to this solar system. But is, but is that good? That told me... Lots of Nomai died when our clan came. What if the Eye wanted that to happen? Yeah, this writing looks more scraggly. What if the Eye isn't something good? All oh, very interesting plots. Is this the end? It is. Okay. This is just people thinking about it. Which we don't need. We already have enough. People talking and thinking about it. Is this? No, I didn't come through here. What's this? Okay. This is the entrance. Uh oh. Bad that sand is. Getting in here. Oh. 
Oh, there's a prism in there. I want it. Okay. Let me find a way of getting in there. It would only make sense that... Ow. It would only make sense that the hardest things to get in the game are the most important things to get, if that makes any sense. Well, that should make sense. Okay, something can drag. Hopefully something I can reverse the polarity of. Or something below that I can go to. Possibly something below, possibly something above. That I could possibly... A lot of possibilities. Ooh, wait, I can use sand holes to get where I want. Ah, ah! Yay! <laughs> Doing things accidentally. Who's been computing shuttle trajectories to the sun station? Don't worry, the station is... In such a low stellar orbit, we've constructed a different, safer way to travel there from Ash Twin. That would be Pi. That would be Pi. I told her we Pi is a girl. <laughs> we wouldn't be traveling there by shuttle. And that the sun station doesn't even have a landing pad. But she said she knew. It's a purely theoretical exercise on my part, Yarrow. Who doesn't love computing a good low stellar orbit shuttle trajectory? Pi, I look forward to working with you, but I'm also relieved I will be. It will be easy to return to Ash Twin, Twin, Twin regularly. Kai, take me to the stars. Pie. Mm -hmm. Now it's a triple entendre. I don't like that. Uh oh, it is filling up. I should have explored from lowest to highest. What's this? We're meeting in the fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the anglerfish overlook hole, you'll have to go lo the long way, but it isn't far. Go to the stepping stone cave, and then up into the fossil fish cave. I tried to get to the fossil fish through the stepping stone cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the anglerfish overlook, and throw a light into its mouth, he'll show you the way. Oh, interesting. Tar Tag it can't fit through the angler anger flesh anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levi now. Who cares? He looks still the tallest. Okay, well, that's instructions on how to get there. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. I know there's oxygen in here. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, there are multiple entrances. I think I... ...messed with this one. It's the highest exit. It's probably a viable exit, because otherwise... Or not! Help me out, buddy. Hello. Okay. Oh. Bob? Erica? Thank you. Thank you for giving Bob a subscription. And Bob, welcome. I guess I've been saying it now, I might as well just keep saying it. Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> Okay. 
Yeah, I've just been saying that as the saying, I guess. <laughs> because... But yeah, thank you. Thank you, Erica. <gasps> There's a hole into the sea. You gotta be kidding. It's right here. I know, she's gifted out 10 of them now. Wait, why is it still showing seven? Yeah, why does it say seven? Seven out of 15. We have 10 now. I know that much. Oh, you know what? I need to change a setting. I changed the setting on the other one for it to work. Oh, 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 what's that? What is that since we're, ooh. Since we're here, I might as well check. Check a look. But yeah, I have to change a setting for it to properly. Oh, this is the the thing I saw. It looks at the eye. What if this was the secret to the entire game? This one window. And we're all just making fun of it. By all I mean me. Shh. It's your catchphrase. No, I can't. It's do you guys even know where that's from originally? <laughs> It's the worst. <laughs> it's literally the worst. Oh, look at this. Aw, I love the bongo cat. It makes me happy. <laughs> Man, the ship was right there. I could have... Oh, where does this lead to? Why is this here? I feel like questions that I ask every two minutes when playing this game. But, it's from Resident Evil 7. It's when you get into the house, and it's, and the dad is there, and, you, and you're like, looking about, and you just fought, I think, the first boss. Not the dad boss, the first boss after the dad boss, I guess. And then he goes, welcome to family, son. And punches you. Eek! Eek! Okay, I need to find the one I want. Here we go. This is the one I want. Uh oh, uh oh. Do I have time? Do I have time? Do I have time? Dun 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 No. No. Okay, okay, I might still have time. If I move quickly. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Made it again. Ah, the sun just went by. I got a random gift sub for a channel I had never been to, and it has so many emotes. Aw, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, gift subs are so sweet. Like, they're always sweet, but like, especially if someone's giving one specifically to you, because sometimes it's a random gift sub, and I mean, that's not bad at all. That's awesome that someone's giving you a random gift sub, but... Especially if someone's like on purposefully giving you one, it's like it's sweet. It's like someone wants you to be part of the community and have those awesome emotes and stuff. That's why I want to make my emotes better, but Um, excuse me? Excuse me. Oh, the sun station is gone already, isn't it? Erica hosting? Sun Tower offline as a five. Yeah. Two 
too late for this loop. Where's my ship? Ah, of course. Of course it would be there. Here we go. Uh oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming! <laughs> Get it! <laughs> oh, this doesn't look good. Alright. <laughs> okay, the universe is about to end. Um, the planet looks crazy. Again, I don't under- there's some things that don't make sense. I've been- Sixty emotes. I've been getting random gifts of recently for streams I only watched for a few minutes. He been been streaming for over eleven years. Must be a Twitch partner, probably. Yeah, you have to be a Twitch partner to be getting that those many, I believe. I have this feeling the sun is growing a little bit too much. I wonder if I can escape the sun going supernova. That's what I'll do for the last bit. That is crazy. That is cr 11 years. Granted, I think it's less crazy the more we... The farther we go, because now if you stop to think about it, 11 years is 2009. Which is still very early, it's still like... Oh? It's still when it was Justin TV, I believe, right? Like, Justin TV had... The Twitch division. So... You don't think so? Oh yeah, maybe they didn't have partnering back then. But like, Twitch was already a thing? Because if he's been streaming for... 11 years... went too far, the, the sun disappeared. The whole point is to see it explode out. No, no, I don't think... You can outrun the sun when it explodes. Oh, okay, I see. But yeah, I think... I think... Yeah, I don't know if... Oh, he's just been streaming for us. So yeah, it could be when it was Twitch TV. I mean, Justin.TV. There it is. I wonder how much time. Yeah, time. I need to reach equilibrium. I want to see it explode. I think it's gonna be a beautiful shot. I actually, I used to watch a stream back then. It started as a, a show, like a, just a recorded show. And soon after it became a live show on Justin TV, it was called Video Games Awesome. I grew up with those guys. I think I started watching like 2008, 2007. I was 12, 13, and they still, they're still going, they're still going, and 
it's weird because it's one of those things, right? When you're you're watching a stream, and especially like what now it has been like 12 years or whatever that I've been watching them 13 years. It's okay. There we go. Oh oh oh! It's gonna blow! It's gonna blow! Look at that. Okay, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Can we out? Okay, I'm gonna have to use my better engines. Look at that. I didn't get hit by it. I just froze. Interesting. Interesting. I froze because there's no heat from a star and this ship isn't made for that. Interesting. So it makes sense. It would make sense. It's a little bit too early. They cut you off a little bit too early, but it would make sense otherwise. <laughs> All right, so, new plan. We're tr we were trying to get on the sun thing, whatever. I need to do it as early as possible. As early as possible. I need to figure out the timing of it. Oh, before I do anything, especially because I do have some time initially. Really? That was the only thing that got added. Alright. Thanks. <laughs> the sun station was designed to make the sun go supernova. But yeah, maybe... If we stop the sun station from falling into the sun, the sun doesn't go supernova. That's my guess. What if... Uh, you remember how we saw the note of like... I don't know who was it. I think it was Feldspar or whatever was noticing more um, supernova, supernovas than ever. My guess, my guess is that all the stuff that the Nomai built for this kind of stuff throughout the universe, it's finally deteriorating. And if they built more of these, like the, no, let's let's not, let's not. And if they. <laughs> And if they built more of these throughout the universe, that's all of them, all of these sun uh, stations that are made to have the sun go, go supernova, all of them blowing up. That's my theory. So that's why there are so many supernovas happening. So if we stop the sun station from going supernova, we have a chance of stopping the sun from going supernova. Wait. If we stop the sun station from being eaten by the sun, we can stop the sun from going supernova. Bam, there we go. That's what we're gonna do. That's our plan for the day. BB loves the lime ice pop. My friend, uh, Ash, who you all know now because she was on the stream, um, she, she made Brazilian limeade. Now, as a Brazilian, I have never heard of that. <laughs> so it might be one of those things, but maybe it's just a different region of Brazil, which that's what I mentioned, I told her, like, it's probably just a different region of Brazil that I'm not familiar with. Um, Oh, I don't think I've ever stopped here. Ow. <laughs> it was pretty good. So what it is is just lime juice with uh, condensed milk, which one thing my mom would always say is like, if you put condensed milk and stuff, there's no way it can't be good. Because <laughs> it's just good. Obviously, as a lactose intolerant person, I'm gonna die. Uh, all right, Melora. 
This planet sometimes, and only sometimes, has a moon. This is also of note. It disappears if no one's watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital, orbital characteristic? Oh, there, there it is, right there. Um, I found your, I found your note, Melora. Uh, kindly count me among this moon's admirer. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Does it move to another location? I'm. I believe so. Uh, not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow. Oh, see, it's gone. I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Earth as well. This is this is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it, or even better, we should travel there. I agree, but our first step would be determining a method to track the phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of microscopic quantum mechanics. Erica says, oh, I told my mom you're from Brazil, and she was impressed how well we... Oh, thank you. Also, hi, Erica's mom. I hope you're having a nice time with BB, even though you pooped everywhere. Well, I do have an accent. I have an American accent. Hey, y'all. Okay, speaking of accents, <laughs> I feel like I, I need to talk about this. So, I... Played Red Dead Redemption 2 not too long ago on my own before I started streaming again, which bummer because I love that game. That game was oof. That game was good. Uh, anyway, I was I was talking like a cowboy <laughs> everywhere I went. <laughs> uh, I made a conscious effort not to do it when I was talking to other people though. But if I was ever alone, I would just narrate myself doing stuff. Um, with the cowboy accent. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the planet? Is it too early? I need to get a look at the planet. It was a good game. Oof. <laughs> that game was oof. Yes, it is. It's enough. I see it. Man, I love that game. But yeah, I was just walking around like a cowboy, you know, like I had something in between my legs. Because <laughs> they all walk kind of wonky. And... It was weird. Okay, 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 okay. okay. There it is. There it is. There's the one I want. And I was just like, and I was trying to do Arthur Morgan's voice every, and be like, like I was answering Dutch. Like, I got a, I got a plan. I'm like, I am a Dutch. <laughs> I was like, uh, I love that game so much. It was a really good time. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Is it open? Oh, was it not this side? This side uh, it was that side. Okay, I'm gonna be here the moment it opens. That's good. I just don't want to get pulled. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you're a cowboy, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta live it. You know. You gotta live being the cowboy. I love that game. I th I really loved Arthur Morgan. He's one of my favorite. He's one of my favorite protagonists. I really felt for him, you know. And honestly, I think some of the story beats are kind of predictable. I was able to predict before it happened. Ooh ooh ooh! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Everyone seeing this? 
You can just walk through if you're early enough. Ah. Okay. Next loop. I kind of, I almost want to replay it on stream. Here's the thing, though. I've never played Red Dead Redemption 1. And after I played 2, I was like, I need to play this game. I need it in my life. And you can only play it on PS3 or Xbox 360 or an Xbox because they have the, you know, the, the whatever, backwards compatibility. Um, you can play it. Later, but... On, like, more modern Xboxes. But, but... I don't have an Xbox. I've never owned an Xbox, speaking of which... I am not an Xboxer. I'm I'm a pro boxer or whatever. So it makes it kind of hard for me cuz I don't have access to that. I would love to play that game. And people were mentioning maybe they'll release a new one. Okay, so I think we read everything here. Explore the sun. Okay, hopefully I'll have enough time this time. Is there anything else up here? They ship in the sun. Okay, we shall read. Star has reached the end of natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant stage warning. Evacuate sun station. Approximately time until sun... Destroyed by sun station. Three minute approximate time until star death. Fifteen minutes. Okay. Okay. So I have three minutes to explore this. One of them died here. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small subs, small surface level changes, but they were barely vis visible, even when, even to the third eye. The sun station is useless, and it will never, and could never, cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to start over. Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching this star system that we'd like to investigate. Pi, I hurt for you, my friend. We all know how hard you've both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How's Idea? We're well, Yarrow. Or as well as can be expected given the circumstances, though disappointed. I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hoped our terrible work... I'd hoped our terrible work was finished. Okay. There's one more thing we can do here. Ash. This is at the center of Ash Twin, Twin, I believe. This is at the center of it. Okay. I think that 
that's everything to see here. The sun and the eye are in balance. That's what they believed, but they failed. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful game. You're not an Xboxer, because you're still boxing, you know? I wish. I... Come on. Alright. I'm sure we can still make it. With that, before this explodes. Yes, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. Um... My favorite game growing up was, oh boy, take me, take me, uh, was, my favorite game was, uh, punch out, and I, you know, I'm a short guy, I'm, I'm not gonna, sit here and be like, oh yeah, pff, peak of heightness is me. No, I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I I don't have any delusions. So I, I really identified with Little Mac, you know? So, I, oh, I love Little Mac. And I love Rocky, too. I love boxing movies. <laughs> I, I kind of like boxing. I would never box myself, but I kind of like it. And... I don't even like watching it. I like the stories that are usually built around it, like that underdog story and stuff. And just the aesthetic of, like, boxing stuff is kind of cool. Like, the Rocky boxing and stuff like that. Kind of cool. Uh, so I was a big fan. I, you know, I grew up watching the Rocky movies. My parents were really, really f big fans of them. And Punch-Out! was a really big game for me. So... That quickly became kind of like a... A <laughs> thing. Oh, I don't think I've ever explored this ship, actually. Oh, actually, before we, we land... Quantum fluctuations in here. Although, where is the ash twin? Woo! Whoa, I barely hit that. Uh, the ash twin projection stone. These are the twins, which makes me wonder if there's oof, anything I can find in here. read that I'm just gonna I'm gonna do my trick I'm gonna stop under the bridge so that I can't be taken away oh speaking of being taken away Also, I was wondering if there was a an order, a reason for the order. Like, why is this the lowest one? Why is this the lowest station? Ah! Now, now that I'm talking about that, I'm curious. Like, why is this the lowest station of all of them? What's the deal with this station? What? Wait. What? <laughs> what is the deal with this station?
So I love boxing as a concept, and I love the aesthetic of boxing. I like that thought of like 80s boxing. That was really cool to me. So, that's my little boxing story. So there are pictures of me dressed up like Little Mac. My ship! <laughs> This is where this is. So there is zero reason. Oh yeah, it's super heavy here. Alright, so we've been here. There's my ship. Um, so there's a, should be a third level because there's a thing that pulls me up. And I want to know how to get to the center of this planet. All questions. But yeah, also, if you've never seen Punch-Out, I feel like in today's society it would not be taken very kindly because it's all about stereotypes of different cultures. It's literally a game about stereotypes. So like the drunk the the drunken man. I mean that's another way of saying it essentially. The Russian guy is a drunk man um, drinking his vodka. French guy is the weakest person. <laughs> Stuff like that. So. I don't think people would take kindly to it nowadays. But I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was funny. I thought it was great. be honest here, by the way, I have no clue where I'm going anymore. I feel like kind of explored the, everything. I mean, clearly I haven't, but... But I'm not quite sure what the next step would be. I should come back and check skip pod two once. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Ba ba da da ba da da ba ba da 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 da. I did a lot of this loop. <sighs> so the Sun Project was a failure, but they were still able to make the beacons. They just couldn't make something powerful enough to make them go into the past. Which is fine, we don't necessarily need that, I just need... That's what that is. Yes, I want to go here. Now 
I detect a quantum... Yes, we're gonna actually check that. With quantum moon locator. How, how did I do it to, to like, tag it? There we go. <laughs> Just press A. Stay away from the sun. No, the sun is our friend. Without the sun, we wouldn't live. Think about it, Bob. Where would you be today if there was no sun? Where would I be today? Interesting question. No? Oh, don't mind my hand. I just realized. Yeah, today was a <laughs> scuffed stream day, which is okay. There's always a planet in between me and the planet I want to go to. I feel like I forgot so many things today. The sun like likes warm hugs. Actually, how many of you guys have um, grown up with well, not grown up. You guys are much older than I am. Um, how many of you guys have seen the... ASDF movies? Oh. I want it to be close. See it? There it is, there it is. Okay, I can't stop looking at it. Okay. I'm gonna try doing something. He hear me out, hear me out. Nope, I can't not look at the moon. Okay, okay, okay. Is it gone? It's not gone, it's not gone. Here's what I'm gonna try. Approach the quantum moon. So I've tried going through the, the quantum moon, and then I just disappear. I have not tried going in like this. Okay. There's my ship. That also happens. But that was interesting. When the moon went- well, I guess that makes sense for a moon. When the moon went in front of the sun, it became an, a shining eclipse. <laughs> to Earth? Just need to look around a little bit and the quantum moon will show up. I'm very curious about the quantum moon. Have you seen, um, ASDF movies? Is that something that you've ever watched? Because I grew up watching those. And it's very interesting living in the era we live now because it's, it's like people who lived in the era, era where the TV was first invented or
or stuff like because like we have the original creators okay so I've shot my scout into the quantum moon. But it doesn't give me a signal. Everyone talks about the quantum moon. There's clearly something about this quantum moon. There it is again. there be nothing new there's still something i haven't seen in the quantum moon locator all right we're gonna discover everything there is to know about this quantum moon that's my new mission in this game next chapter to the moon that's what i'm gonna call it but yeah asdf movies were fun i feel like i should do a youtube day uh, YouTube stream day. Just to show off all the- not show off, but like... Yeah, show off. Moon Man returns. Moon Man returns. It is time for us to return to our origins. And salute the moon. If you are all about saluting the sun, not me. I'm not a sun knight, I'm a moon knight. Wait a minute. Are moon knights a thing? Can I make moon knights the my community? Can I do that? <laughs> That's something I can do. <laughs> That'd be fun. Never heard of ASDF movies? They're great little YouTube videos. Okay. I feel like I should. Do a YouTube day. Once every month, maybe? Something like that. Oh. Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. Clearly the Nomai were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. Uh, what is the big rotating device for? Uh, what is the Nomai were observing? I'd posit there is something special about the orange symbol on that device. Hal and the new astronaut translator tool would be nice to have handing right about now. But I would, I, so I kind of want to find out if people already have, if like there are like the moon knights or stuff, because I think that could be fun. That could be like a more of a theme for the for the stream because we don't really have one All right the quantum moon locator is functioning we have markers for each of the places the moon goes anona burr i just op observe uh, b -b 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 observed the quantum moon in orbit around dark bramble i added a marker for dark bramble you have a keen eye my friend so this moon travels to a total of five locations not four I thought the locator I thought the locator now accounted for all of the phantom moon locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps it's a problem with the device. It's also possible it exists a sixth place in the star system in which the phantom moon travels. Excuse me? Excuse me? 
Are you kidding me? There's a sixth place? That is not lined up. No, it is. Okay. Do we count this as timber hearth or nah? I think we count this as timber hearth. I just need it needed to make a cross. The sun. Why is it the sun? <laughs> My ship is in the way. <laughs> Getting bopped by the thing. Okay. No, 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 no. It's right. <laughs> it was around this planet. Flip. Get. Flip. 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 Can you see it there? Flip. See it there? Flip. Flip. Bingo. Go. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, I looked away. I know what to do. I know what to do. As long as I put my scout looking at it, that's right there, 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 there. Should be able to see it. How am I going to find the sixth location? Uh. 
Oh. Oh, wait, wait. I know how. I know how. Okay, we're gonna have to use all of our... All of our knowledge of this. Okay, okay. All right. I'm just, I've just went into like deep thinking mode. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Alright, alright, alright. So he he here's what I'm thinking. Bam. Okay. Why is it spinning like crazy? Okay. Okay. That's what we'll do. Not with this. With this. hard to know because there are planets there. If... Yeah. Quantum Moon just went to one of the planets or if it's behind it. It's moving with that planet. there are they moving independently I guess that's what I yeah no they're just together Sometimes it's hard to know. You know, I can see it. Probably look like a crazy person. I feel like I say that every stream, every time I stream this game. I'm like an insane person. Alright. We found it somewhere else for like half a second. Oh, oh, oh. rotation of the planet too. To moon. I don't know, I don't I feel like now it's not going to a Oh, like a, a sixth location. I feel like now it's just going with the five locations. Because, okay, if they programmed this and it's 
random which of the six possible locations it goes to. I have a one in six chance every time, which isn't very good if it's truly random. But if there's a pattern, then we should have run into that pattern. And it's probably when it does that. But my guess is that, okay, so one, two, three, four. It's when it's rotating on this planet that we're in. So we're not going to see it when it's rotating here. That's my problem, is that because I am currently... So maybe if I do this from space... I just have to keep doing it until it's not by a planet. But I just need to do it from spies. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. Okay. So let me give myself a little bit of a distance. And. Quantum Moon! Quantum moon, quantum moon, quantum moon, quantum moon. No. Come on, give me some quantum moon. Return. All the way. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Where is the quantum moon? Quantum moon. Quantum moon. Quantum moon. Wait, there's no planet there. Oh no, it's just that I'm going super far. Whoops. Sometimes I forget to see my speed. <laughs> As you can probably tell. Oh. Good night. We did a lot. <clears throat> Thankfully, we're at least doing a lot every time we... Except the times that I just happen to die in this one. We're doing a lot every loop. So... At least that's... Productive. Okay. So... Shard. Known. Coin shard. That's the thing, like, I'm turning around. So there's a high, high chance that I lose the moon going to its sixth location. What's that? Oh, that's the interloper. Okay, 
Optimum is there. Optimum is there. Still there. Only one there. Only one there. Onto Moon is there now. Oh, you know what? You know what? I need to find the Quantum Moon. Quantum Moon? Here's what I'm thinking. Every time the... Every time the Quantum Moon changes location... What happens? The thing beeps. My onto moon. My probe beeps. So I will know if when I'm searching for it, it moves. That's the other interesting thing about this game. It gives you all the tools you might need from the beginning, just like Breath of the Wild. Every tool you need, you have from the beginning which I think is a very awesome game design idea. Is it gonna hit it? Nope. Ooh. That thing could totally hit us. Yeah, we're just gonna get closer. Gotcha. Let's go. Moved. No, 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 no. We progress so much. Number one, get to the quantum noon. Number two, don't fall into the sun. Number three, we'll track the where the quantum noon goes. Three step program. Three step program, really simple. Step two, probably the most important one for me. Do not crash into the sun. Shard. On the moon. Here we go. Don't need that anymore. I can see it plain as day. Get the scout launcher. And here I don't have the risk of being hit by the sun, because we're so far away from the sun. I should be okay. okay. Boom. Kobe. Nope. Wow. Okay. Ooh. 
Oh, that looks cool. Gotcha. right here. You didn't tell me! It's close enough it's moving if it doesn't tell me. I feel like there must be a better way to do this. Sixth location. Possible unknown six location. What the, am I? Uh, other things here. No, my device. Oh, it doesn't. Quantum shard. To the quantum moon. The shrine is the same signal as the quantum moon. Timber Earth. Hourglass Twins. Okay. I'm actually going to stop this game for today. We're going to keep going on our quest. I'm going to go for the other quantum signals next time. I think that that's kind of the an interesting thing that we can do. I like this game, but it makes my brainy hurt, bits hurt, yeah. It definitely makes you think, which I love in a game. So we're going to be following the quantum moon thread a little bit. So we're going to be doing a lot of quantum related things next time. So if your brain hurt before, oh boy, let's make it hurt more. The next time. But thank you for watching. And I'm going to Valheim next. It's not the end of the stream quite yet, even though I said thank you for watching. Was it a mistake? Eh, not really. Um, I'm thanking you for watching. I'm happy you are here. It brings me joy that you are here. But give me a couple minutes. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, and I will be right back. Oof, indeed, my friend. Oof, indeed. I really need